Hi, my name is Stefan Korshak. I'm the senior military correspondent for Kiev Post newspaper, and I'm back with a few more videos from the war in uh, Ukraine. Perhaps uh, during our little discussion, I can uh, bring out a few details in those videos that uh, seemed interesting to me and hopefully will be interesting to you. The first video I want to take a look at with you guys is uh, strikes by Ukrainian artillery uh, against uh, you Russian infantry. So uh, for this first video, please be warned, you're going to watch people get injured and people die. And if you don't want to see that, then I suggest you move on to something else. So without any further ado, here's the first video. Okay, what we're seeing right now is in the southern sector, a group of Russian uh, infantrymen, or at least uh, foot soldiers, are uh, apparently retreating. They uh, then get uh, hit by a near strike from Ukrainian artillery. And the second strike, that was uh, uh, cluster munitions. Now, if you saw, there's a bunch of little explosions all around. And one of the things about cluster munitions is they cover, large er cover a large area but they don't demolish the area. So now what we're seeing is more explosions. Now it looks like a drone came in and hit that uh, group of uh, Russian infantrymen. More injuries, more uh, death most likely. And in a minute, I think we're gonna see another cluster munition strike. And uh, the thing to bear in mind as we're watching is uh, notice how uh, the Russians who weren't hurt don't seem to be helping the injured fellows. This matches hundreds of uh, accounts by Ukrainian soldiers, some of which directly to me, uh, that uh, the Russians don't collect their wounded all the time. This is the second strike. Notice uh, the large area that it covers and how it, in general, misses the infantrymen. The point that I want to make with all this is that what's going on pretty clearly is that there is a, a group of Ukraine, here's a second, another artillery strike, very accurate apparently, and the Ukrainian artillery is in communication with the Ukrainian drone operators, and they're working together to uh, hit uh, Russian infantry as it moves. This is not easy. This, is, uh, require, this requires practice and coordination, and not every army can do it, and the Ukrainian army, honestly, has had trouble doing this like any army would, uh, especially in the first months of the war. The point of this video is they're getting better. So that's what I wanted to point out with this first video. For the second video, it's not as uh, horrifying, it's not as exciting. But what you're gonna see is some uh, Ukrainian soldiers in a field looking very closely at the ground and you're gonna see Russian mines. The point that uh, the video makes clear is that the mines are very, very dense and uh, it's, uh, they're obvious to see, but what to do about them is not so obvious and that's one of the things the Ukrainian military is grappling with right now. So here's the second video. Okay, here's a Ukrainian field. It would normally be planted, but it's not because the weather is a war. And if you look closely, those are anti-tank mines. Anti-tank mines normally aren't placed that closely together. The Russians, for reasons best known to them, that's like less than two meters apart, have uh, placed those mines uh, very closely together. That means that the Russians have lots of mines to place, and also that they are very, very intent that Ukrainian vehicles should not be able to easily pass this piece of ground. Clearly, since the Ukrainian infantry is there, the mines could be cleared over time, but it's a mine-by-mine, step-by-step process, and you can see how uh, difficult some of these mines are to see. Now, that, I believe, was an anti-personnel mine, which makes things even more complicated. Yeah, those are anti-personnel mines. If, one, uh, if in general, a uh, soldier stepping on an anti-tank mine won't get hurt in general, stepping even close to an anti-personnel mine means you die. So think, think of with that video, then multiply that out by probably dozens, if not hundreds of kilometers of territory. That's what the Ukrainians have to deal with. And they don't know exactly where it is until they find it. And sometimes they only find it when the guys that they're on the ground hit, step on the mine. That is part of the reason why the Ukrainian offensive is so slow. They're dealing with that. 
All right, and now for the third video, what I want to do is show you, uh, also from the Southern Sector, a video that originated with 30th Mechanized Brigade, which is a very experienced unit. They've been at war for quite a while. And uh, what you're going to see is some very big explosions uh, that, uh, at least according to the uh, Ukrainian uh, army, the general staff, which eventually put out this video, uh, says hit Russians. And um, it's uh, impressive. It's in their sector. Uh, by other sources, we can confirm that it's in their sector. But what the Ukrainian army did not say when they published this video, I believe it was 48 hours ago, was that the explosions took place at the end of June. This is not recent fighting. This is, uh, for whatever reason, they decided that uh, they wanted to publish uh, images of fighting taking place uh, involving 30th Mechanized Brigade. And uh, like I say, you will see they are impressive. However, how uh, relevant they are to current fighting is, well, probably not relevant. This is something to bear in mind when we're looking at videos. Uh, we have to think about not only are they real, but what time frame are they connected to? And you know, if we have to, to connect them to ground, then that's even harder. So that's all part of the deal when we're looking at these videos and trying to understand what's going on in the war. So without further ado, here's the third video. Okay, what we're doing is looking at a battlefield. Uh, there's a lot of smoke, as you can see. And that was a very big, powerful explosion. What it was, hard to say. Could have been a vehicle blowing up, could have been a very large artillery round, could have been an aviation bomb. What got hit, we don't really know. Uh, what's going to happen next? Well, we don't know because we cut to another explosion. Again, the, the Ukrainian military, somebody decided that they wanted to put out images of two very big explosions. So, those are the three videos that I thought that might be interesting for you guys to look at today. Um, the reason that uh, we look at these videos closely at Kiev Post is that we are trying to figure out what's going on uh, in the war. Access to the front is extremely limited, and uh, even if we had perfect access, like any other media, we wouldn't put out all the information that we have. We don't even do that anyway. But uh, we have a responsibility to try and get a picture of what's going on, and this is part of how we build the picture. So, one of the things that we've seen today is that it appears that the Ukrainians are getting better at uh, organizing artillery strikes, and another thing that we've probably seen today is that the mines that they are dealing with are very dense and they cause real problems and the people that have to deal with those problems are guys walking around in a minefield and there's really probably no way for them to solve that problem quickly. And finally, of course, we saw that sometimes these videos that we see can be very impressive, but it's not so clear whether they have any meaning to what's going on today in the news. That's all. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Stefan Korshak. Have a good day.